At 11 tonight, the dazzling display of lights on the Bay Bridge for the past decade or so is coming to an end. The installation goes dark Sunday night unless $11 million can be raised to replace many of the burnt out bulbs. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn has more on the massive fundraising campaign underway. The Bay Bridge lights make the perfect backdrop for so many photographs. It's, it's stunning. We, we really love it. The light installation has dazzled and delighted visitors and locals alike. I think it's just a really good representation of the beauty of the city. But on Sunday night, the lights will shut off. That's hard for many people to believe. I don't think we should lose these lights. It's, it's just too pretty. The Bay Bridge is a harsh environment for electronics, and this set is failing fast that we can keep up and needs to come down. Ben Davis is with Illuminate and the Bay Lights 360, the group behind the light installation. The plan is to take the lights down and replace them with better lights. Davis says it will cost $11 million to bring the lights back for the next decade. The goal is to get 10 individuals to give a $1 million each. We have a gentleman named uh, uh, Jan Combe in the Combe Foundation and they've given a million dollars. The last million in donations would come from a crowdfunding campaign just launched at the baylights360.org. So far, more than six million dollars have been raised. But really, we need a few thunderbolts of love right now. And if we get that, this project comes back. Ben Davis says the new configuration will have twice as many LEDs, and that means the lights will be seen by people all across the bay. We're going to wrap the cables so that you can see lights not only in the city side, but around the bay, including carefully and safely to drivers on the bridge as they go across the bridge. At the Water Bar restaurant, patrons come for the oysters, as well as the great view of the Bay Bridge lights. It is dazzling. It, it's just, it brings the, the city to life across the bay. The lights are switching off, but they'll be back once enough money's raised. We're just going to have to tell the people, you got to have hope because that's really what the Bay Lights are all about. It's about hope, and, in, and I think that in this day right now, San Francisco can use it. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.